Hey, and welcome to video number three, which is starting with conversions and then traffic. So in this video, it's all about conversions and I'm not really going to talk about traffic too much because my whole point here is that a lot of offline companies lack in conversions. And this specific video is kind of going to lay the groundwork for video number four in the future videos where we uh, talk about how to find potential responsive companies. Notice that I'm not talking about potential companies, but potential responsive companies. These are the types of companies that already are tempting in some way to, you know, use the internet to get leads or convert leads and so forth. They're just not doing it right. And that's where you're going to come in. So a lot of offline companies, like I said, are lacking in the area of online conversions. And I found that a lot of online marketing companies, a lot of online marketers are focused purely on traffic or SEO or ranking the company to the top 10, but they're not as focused on, you know, focused on the website, the optimization of the website, the content on the website, basically using the website as a means to lower support calls and this and that and convert higher and that's a lot of what I do and what I'm a passionate about and I found that offline businesses just don't have a lot of help in this area you know the, you get a lot of people selling websites but those websites are just not converting so I'm going to give you some tips and advice and tricks that I found over the years that have helped me you know close deals with potential responsive companies and how to find these companies and how to help them out. Now, when I talk about conversions, I'm talking about websites, videos, content, and value. What kind of value is the offline business providing to their target customer? If their website is just saying, buy, 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 here's product and that's it, and many customers you know the first thing they do is they do research and they research and research and once they find a company that they like and a company that can help them and solve their problems and this and that that's the company that they're going to go to most likely now it depends on the industry as well if the industry is something like you know you have to call somebody immediately right away Somebody might not do as much research in that, and that's something that you might need to look into. But if it's something like, you know, dentist or, you know, subcontracting, window installation, house, you know, stuff like that, then, you know, if you understand the market and the industry, then most of it requires, you know, conversions and good conversions. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. Start with the basics. Everybody wants to do SEO. Everybody wants to do traffic. Everybody wants to do leads. But start with the basics because that's where a lot of companies are missing and lacking. And most co companies I found are not doing the basics. You know, they get their website up, like I said, and they lack in conversions. They're getting lots of calls or maybe they're not getting much calls at all. Um, what I found was a lot of businesses, they were getting calls. They just didn't know how to convert the calls. And that's just a whole nother process. That's probably not some area that, that might be an area you might want to go into. But in terms of online marketing, that might not be an area you want to go. So the whole point of this is, okay, they're getting calls, but they're not converting the calls. Why is that? I found through studies that a lot of calls were coming because somebody saw the website, but the website didn't provide enough information. And because of that, they're calling the place and asking all these questions. But if the website fulfilled those questions and answered those questions, I found that the calls that went through, the quality increased. So instead of, hey, you know, I got a lot of questions about this and that on the website or through videos or through content and value, you know, those questions were answered. And then instead of this and that, it's like, hey, I want, you know, your product, but, you know, this and that. So the website can be used to bring people closer to a sale and convert them.
So let me give you an examples of where companies are lacking. Really basic stuff that you think is basic is not basic to an offline company. You know, examples of this would be keyword research, like basic keyword research. I'm talking about like, you know, using Google Insights and finding keywords and using the Google Keyword Tool to do basic keyword research. You know, just the basic stuff. A website, graphics, logos, you know, branding material that would brand their website. An SEO optimized website found most companies they'll have a website but it's not optimized for Google or for Yahoo or for Bing and that can cause a lot of problems and their content is not SEO optimized website copywriting as you know you can find a good website copywriter and have them produce content for the company uh, in fact, I have a project right now where I'm helping a local company write their website copy, I'm writing their website copy, their articles, or you know, optimizing with SEO and stuff like that. And there's a lot of stuff you can do. And I'll tell you, a lot of these companies have gone through companies that their whole goal is just to mass produce websites. In fact, the guy that I'm writing website copy for right now. You know, he paid this other company, you know, a couple thousand dollars and realized their content was just trash uh, so that, you know, he hired me to do it. And I'm making sure that everything is is correct and things like that. But, you know, another th little thing that I'm saying here is that it's a confirmation with all these big companies coming through and trying to mass produce all these websites and mass produce content. And the content's horrible that. Even if that's the case, you can come through as a one person operation and really, really help a lot of businesses out. Video tips. A lot of companies just don't know how to create a video. Basic videos. Take a bunch of pictures and put them on Animoto. Facebook. A lot of companies are attempting to use Facebook fan pages or Facebook ad groups, but they just don't know where to start. YouTube. I found a lot of people want to do YouTube, but they just don't know how to use YouTube correctly. And they're just little minor tweaks in here and there. Google AdWords. They people you see people using Google AdWords. They're spending money and investing money in AdWords, but they're just not producing. So questions to leave you right now. How are offline businesses converting leads? Now, as an online marketer, your your goal and you, you may not necessarily be able to help the company convert. You know, once they once a customer gets off the website and gets to the you know calls a company, but you can do everything you can to help them convert that lead in terms of that lead going on the website, getting all the information that they need, and then converting it them there. If you can get the website to help build a relationship and gain trust, you've got yourself a winning website. So from a person walking through their doors and closing the sale, that's just something that they're going to need, but you definitely need to raise that question and analyze you know, how they're doing it and maybe give them some pointers there as well. So it may sound too easy, but many online marketers provide services and take things for granted. Too many online marketers are going towards the traffic arena and that's fine, um, but many offline businesses are trying to increase their conversions because they do understand conversions are important. Um, but because that's the case, they're failing at it, even though they're attempting at it, and it's now your time and your chance to help these companies improve the way they attempt to get customers. So now we're gonna move on to video number four and talk about how to find these potential responsive companies that are looking for you.